Welcome back to 31 Days of Your Scrapbooking Q&As. Today's sponsor is Simon Says Stamp. If you have not yet checked out Kelly Perky's new exclusive line for Simon Says Stamp, get over there and check it out. Stamps, stickers, badges, stencils, and more, all made in the USA. SimonSaysStamp.com. This question comes from Robin, who asks, I'm ready to finally purchase a die cutting machine. Which one do you recommend and why? Thanks. Now, as you probably know, there are five zillion different die cut machines out there from a big shot, which is like that thing right there. That's a manual die cut machine. The Vagabond, which is a physical die cut machine, but is electronic. So you don't have to crank it. It just sends it through. Then there's the Silhouette, the Cricut, Pazzle, you name it. There are a zillion different types of die cut machines. The ones that I use more than anything for manual I use my Big Shot <laughs> to crank it through. And as far as electronic goes, I use my Silhouette Cameo. I absolutely love my Cameo. Now, why I selected these two? This one I selected because it has a ton of versatility. Again, it's the Big Shot. And it has um, a little book that comes with it that has it platforms. And it's like a flip book. And you can use different sizes of platforms depending on um, how thick your die is. So if you're using like a quick cut die, one of the really thin ones, you use a thicker platform. If you're using one of the thicker Sizzix or Tim Holtz dies, then you use different platforms and cutting, cutting uh, guides for that. So it has a ton of versatility. It can cut the 12 by 12 if you get an extended platform. And it's a workhorse. It ha I have yet to have a problem with it. You just crank it through. I can get the kids cranking it when I need to make a lot of something. And the biggest drawback for that is the storage of the dies. The dies are kind of chunky. They come in different sizes. And as a result, I've got a whole drawer in that kitchen island unit that I'm pointing to right now and it's filled with the dies and I don't have that many dies but it's it's they are they are somewhat bulky to store so that's the only drawback that I have with a manual die cut machine when it comes to electronic die cut machines I chose the silhouette cameo for several reasons one, um, I had had the previous cami, or excuse me, previous silhouette and had had a lot of success with it. A silhouette is an electronic die cut machine and whatever you can bring up, like whatever shape or, um, or, uh, font you can bring up on your computer you can cut it with your machine so you don't need to buy cartridges you don't need to worry about storing the cartridges as you do with the Cricut so that's why I prefer the Cameo to the Cricut also um, it goes 12 by 12 which the previous silhouette did not so you can go 12 by 12 across and um, also the the Silhouette online store has a ton of different images and I really like the styles that are there in the Silhouette store. So I've been able to find pretty much whatever I'm looking for. Some of the designers I like the best are there in the store. I also upgraded to the Designer Edition software. That allows me to import any SVG file. So if you're using the Silhouette, you can only cut studio files or fonts. Or, and you can also trace PNGs and things like that. It gets a little complicated. But with the, S, the Studio um, Designer software, I can design my own shapes. I can save as SVG. I can import them easily into the Silhouette software and cut out virtually any shape I want to. So that's why I prefer the Silhouette. Also, their customer service has been fantastic. A couple times I've emailed them about things and they get back to me right away. Very, very helpful. So I really love Silhouette, the company, as well as the machine. They do have a machine called the Portrait that's out right now. So if um, the Silhouette Cameo isn't in your budget and you are cut cutting smaller sized um, items, you might want to take a look at the Silhouette Portrait. It's the same as the Cameo, except for it doesn't go 12 by 12. I think it goes down to 8 um, eight inch wide, something like that. Um, I'll link it up in the show notes so you can go over and take a look at it. But uh, that might be something you want to take a look at if uh, storage is an issue for the larger footprint of the Cameo, or you just aren't going to be cutting 12 by 12, then you don't really need the big wide Cameo. 
So anyway, I do know there are a lot of other options out there. This is just what I found works for me and what I really enjoy doing. And I found since I've gotten my Cameo, I use my letter stickers a lot less because I can easily cut out the title exactly the right size and exactly the right color. So I don't have to worry about running out of E's, I's, and O's anymore. <laughs> cutting them and cutting Q's and making them into O's or cutting apart L's to make them into T's or X's into T's. I can cut exactly what I want. So anyway. Those are my thoughts on the die cut machines. Again, I know everybody's got their own preferences, but I like to have the combination of the big shot, the manual, along with the cameo, and it makes me very happy. <laughs>